Hi all, this is Rahul. Welcome to my YouTube channel Automation Tool. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and click on notification bell. So before starting our today's session, there is one request from my side. You can just open my YouTube channel page and just click here, join Facebook group. This is my official Facebook page of Automation Tool. You can just go there and you can post your queries. And I will try my level best to give the solution, right? Now, I will start my session. So, let's open my notepad. So, our today's topic is how to handle basic authentication by using this rest short. So, we will discuss first what is authentication. So, authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a person or a device. We can take one example. Like we need to enter username and password, right? When we will open website or any Gmail or Facebook account. Let's suppose uh, we gave user ID and password and we are able to see the home page. It means we are authentic person. If you are not able to see the home page or you will get any error, it means your username and password is not correct or you are not authentic person. So there are two types of basic authentication that is primitive basic authentication and challenge basic authentication so i will tell you tell you in short what is the difference between these two so primitive basic authentication means when you use this authentication we need to pass the credentials with the request but in case of challenged basic authentication we should not provide the credentials with request once the server will ask the credentials, then only we need to provide. That is the main difference between these two. So this is the authentication mainly people use because we need to give the credentials with request, right? So let's start our code now. So I will open my Eclipse. So this is the project which I have created in my earlier session. So I'll be using this only. So let me create one java class here new class just a short auth or you can say basic auth click on finish now we will write our code so first we need to create method here so public this should be in small letter Public void test. Now we need to give at the date test annotation in order to run our test. So if you will go here, you will find here import test org dot test ng. So make sure you will import from this only. Click here. Now we will write our rest assured code here. So rest assured dot given. So just search here given. Enter dot search for auth. So we are using here auth right. So we need to write auth here. enter and search for primitive so we are uh, writing code for primitive authentication so we need to search for primitive here primitive enter dot basic basic authentication we need to provide inside this basic username and password so i will discuss this so don't worry let me uh, complete this code after this i will write username and password now enter now when so we are following BDD approach here when this should be in capital dot when dot get
get inside this we need to provide the URL and dot get status code so let me give username here first so our username will be so I am using github account here so if you don't have github account make sure you first create once and after this you can copy this URL you can just go to your profile and copy this URL inside this we need to not this URL inside get we need to paste and username so my username is this right Rahul Mehta automation so I will copy from URL it's paste here and password and password is test git hub at the rate one two three so after completing this video I will be changing my github account password so don't use this one right so you can create your own uh, github account as you and you can use that now after get we need to type get status code so since we didn't give uh, uh, here a username and password that is why we are not getting that uh, this control enter we are not getting any options here so once you we gave here we are getting this uh, options here right now we need to write get status code so we are fetching the status code here the search here status code semicolon and we will be printing that status code so what we need to do system dot out and print ln inside this we will write the response code plus so we will be storing this right so for that we need to write So this code we should give here. Now, now we need to run this. See, we gave our GitHub account URL. After this, we gave username and password. Now we will run. So once we will uh, get the 200 status code, it means we are authentic person. So other than 200, if we are getting a fourth access category, it means there is some issue with client side or you are not authentic person. So now we will run, right click, run, test engine, test. Just click on console. So you can see here, response code is 200. It means I'm authentic person, right? So like this way, you can create your GitHub account you can give your username and password and your profile URL here right so I hope you understood all the concept which I explained in this video if you like the video please like comment and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel and click on notification bell thank you and take care